Hi everybody, it's me again. I am just waking up from a very long nap. I um I just my body was tired and I just needed to go to sleep. So when I woke up, I had a new epiphany about like relationships and marriage and just a lot of different things. Um I kind of um, realized, like say for instance, my partner, my husband, um, you know, sometimes he gives verbal and nonverbal cues. And sometimes I ignore some of those cues because number one, like he's got on my nerves or I've got on his, I just don't feel like being bothered, whatever the case may be. But God gave me a revelation. We have to start listening to the inner voices of our spouses or you know of our you know or if you're a boyfriend or a girlfriend whatever that inner person is trying to say to you say for instance you come home and you just sit down on the couch and you just you know take a deep breath and your partner's there and they're they're seeing all of this that your inner voice is saying i'm tired had a hard day I just, you know, need to rest. So your spouse's response should be, are you okay? Do you need anything? Not, you know, what's wrong with you? You know, we have to start listening to the inner voices of our spouses. You know, sometimes we don't say a lot of the things that we're feeling. And like say for instance, um, our spouse comes home or your significant other, they come home and they're like, hey, um, can we just talk? You know, I haven't seen you. What have you been doing? Blah, blah, blah. And your reaction shouldn't be, well, Real Housewives of Atlanta is on. You know, you should, if you have the a capability of t bowing or DVRing, you know, your favorite shows, go ahead and say, babe, we can talk. Let me put this on DVR so I can watch it later and I can focus on what you need. Because at the end of the day... I, the TV shows and all that kind of stuff, that's not going to be there to hold us at night. We need to be able to find a balance between what's important and what's not. And a TV show or, you know, and I'm speaking to myself as well, you know, that's not important. You know, my husband is what's important to me. So I challenge you to listen to the inner voice of your partner whatever they're trying to say sometimes they don't always say what they feel um and I, because i know i don't always say what i feel and i know we you know there are some similarities between a lot of people in relationships so i just wanted to say listen to those inner voices don't become so fixated on a stereotype of what a relationship should be listen to one another um I just thank God for that revelation. I pray that it will bless somebody's marriage because, you know, we forget about those things. Like, okay, my husband is just like a baby. I have a nephew. And he today he was just like whining and crying. and Not crying, but more so whining. And I was just like, oh, he's tired. I automatically knew, like, my brain was like, oh, he needs a nap. So that's how I should be with my husband like oh he needs some attention from me or oh he needs um he just wants some one-on-one -on -one time or oh he needs some alone time so we have to be very cognizant of those things especially when dealing with our partners because I don't know about you all but I want my marriage to last I want my marriage to grow I want my marriage to flourish and I can't see it doing that without me listening to his inner voice his inner feelings so um I pray that you all continue to be blessed also so, I thought of a challenge, something we could do. I was saying, like, maybe one Saturday, for one hour, my husband would not talk. And I would have to listen to his inner voice. <laughs> and then... You know, and he then after that we would discuss different things like, oh, you got this right or oh, you got that right, and I could talk, but he couldn't. And then on the other side, for another hour, um, I wouldn't talk, and he could only talk, and he would have to listen to my inner voice and try to figure out what I wanted to do or what I needed, um, 
So that's just, you know, uh, activity that you can do together. It won't take long, maybe early Saturday morning, and you'll be done by 11, and you just... You know, and you discuss. That's an activity that you can do to grow. Because I don't know about you, but like I said, I want to grow with my marriage. I want to prosper. I want to be, you know, um, dedicated to growing my marriage and growing um, us as a whole. Not just me growing and he's not growing. So that's important. So many blessings. Talk to you later. Bye.